for winter savings guaranteed to blow you away. Woohoo! Don't miss the Blizzard of Savings event at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall with super cool markdowns on every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, or Ram. Like new 2018 Jeep Compass Latitudes, just $169 a month. Or new 2017 Ram 1500 Bighorn Quad Cabs, just $229 a month. Plus the credit help you need and $1,500 over book value for any trade. Big savings are smooth sailing at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall, Route 23 in Sussex. Start something new event. Welcome to the Franklin Sussex Auto Mall, Franklin Sussex Hyundai Sports Beat. I'm your host, Dan Cleary. We just wrapped up our full sports awards here at the lovely Nielsen Ford. Used to be Majorino Ford. The Nielsen Automall Group bought it. Folks, this place is beautiful, great cars, great sales staff here. So if you want to get a Ford, folks, the place to come is here at Nielsen Ford, and we want to thank them for their hospitality. Also want to thank Sussex Beat Packing for supplying delicious food tonight. Everyone was very happy. And we start off tonight's awards banquet with some opening remarks from Tyler Atkins, the owner of Muggs Media. Eric Nielsen and Bill Snoffer are big sponsors of us, and uh, they were gracious enough to let us use the showroom tonight to, uh, to, hand, out some, to hand out some awards to you. Um, uh, before we start the program, I'd like to bring up Steve Romain, who is the sales manager here at Nielsen Ford. Thank you. Hello to all the parents, faculty, and student athletes. Thank you for allowing us to host your fall sports award banquet tonight. The Nielsen organization knows that to su succeed in anything, it takes every part of a team to make a goal become a reality. So let us be the first to congratulate you. On behalf of the Nielsen Automotive Group, I want to say we are privileged to be able to support our community and to strive to do so for so many years. Also, I want to relay a personal message from Bill Snoffer and Eric Nielsen to say thank you and congratulations. Then it was on to the awards as we gave out the football awards. Boy, this team turned the town of Newton on its head with this past season. Uh, they went 12-0, first school to do that since Sparta in 2003. Uh, they won their, the American Red Division, for my money, the best Group 2 division in the state of New Jersey because you had three teams, including Newton, which won a state title, get to a state final. Newton beat Lakeland from their division, and they also beat Hackettstown during the season, who made the state finals in North 2, Group 2. Uh, they ended up losing, but a tremendous division. Uh, this team is a lot of fun to watch. They run the Del Delaware Wing T, and everyone thinks that's a slow offense, grind it out. But not when you watch these guys run. Luke Young, a quarterback, was the engineer, and he did a tremendous job. Uh, he had over 1,100 yards passing and not one interception. And a big part of that, because he was throwing it to a kid named Jaden Elliott, who if it was within 10 yards of him, he was catching it. Uh, just an amazing season. And then a young man, Chase Kramer, in the, as a running back. And as so classy, we'll talk more about Chase later. So just watching him run the ball behind Dante North and Will Larson and Wyatt McCarthy and that great line anchored by Justin Similian was a lot of fun. Their defense was tremendous. They put on a show against, uh, in, in the finals against Lakeland uh, with uh, Nick Briganti and, and Johnny Van Ness just dominating at the defensive ends. Just a perfect team, no weaknesses, special teams with Luke Young kicking, Devin Major putting kickoffs into the end zone. Just a lot of fun. A class act, they got the key to the town, so I don't know what that gets you guys, but I use it wisely. So our uh, Nielsen Automotive Muggs Media Football Team of the Year, the Newton Braves. Still soaking it all in. It's been phenomenal, phenomenal run. We're still enjoying it. It's you know it's been a community that just embraced us throughout the year, and their support was unwavering. There were a lot of a lot of tough times that we went through during during the year. You know, kind of some off the field stuff, mm -hmm. and some you know some on the field stuff. But the kids, you know, they rose through it. They've battled back constantly, and it's because they had the support from first and foremost their parents. A great great parental support. 
and then the administration at Newton just embraces all the sports. You know, start, starting with our superintendent, Dr. Green, you know, waivers down to our principal, Mr. Uh, Mr. Waldron, and then our athletic director, Mr. Hashway. Just, it's been a great year. Spectacular. Uh, you know, I, I can't thank uh, the community, the coaches, you know, my teammates, you know, everybody enough. Uh, you know, it was just something special, and uh, I'm so thankful for everyone that was a part of it. All right, uh, next award is Player of the Year. And this young man was just up here. Here's some numbers for him. 194 carries, 1,497 yards, 19 touchdowns, 120 points. For his career, he's the all-time leading rusher at Newton High School, breaking his brother Ben's record. Of, uh, he has 4,381 yards, 50 touchdowns. Uh, when the game was at its biggest and the pressure was at its most, he came through. Uh, when they, going into the first time they played Lakeland, people thought, well, Lakeland's real good and Newton's not big enough to handle them. Well, the line did a great job and he did a great job and had 149 yards. Ironically, when they beat Lakeland in the state finals, he had 149 yards. But when they needed to play, they're playing Westwood. Everyone said Westwood's going to run away with the section title. Not only does Newton win, Chase Kramer has a huge run to, to salt that game. Against, Hack against uh, Lakeland in the state finals, Lakeland had come back, scored a count of a fluky touchdown. What's, what's he do? He takes off for 71 yards, gets the lead back up there. Uh, just a great kid to talk to after the, after the games. Those numbers I gave you for the season, impressive because he did it in 10 games. He did it on a bad leg from after an injury. He missed the pack on game. Uh, just for fun, I think Coach put him in against Favern. He had one carry for 15 yards, and then he was on the bench. I'm sure he wasn't happy about that. So even at not even 100%, he put the team on his back and always gave the credit to everyone around him. Uh, he loves his lineman. He made it every time. I'd even, have to, as an old lineman, prompt him to say it. He would say, I, my line did it all. Just a great kid. He's also a tremendous baseball player as well. But our uh, Nielsen Automotive Muggs Media Football Player of the Year from the Newton Braves, Chase Kramer. I was dying to get back on the field. Uh, it was really just, you know, my desire to get back out there is what kept me going. You know, my brother supporting me through it all. My coaches helped me through it all. Uh, you know, I, I give all my credit to my teammates, my coaches. Uh, you know, without them, none of this would have been uh, would have been able to happen. And it was just, it was, uh, it was spectacular to to be able to live this this year. I. Uh, it was just unreal. All the stuff you see and on the field, he's even better off the field. Such a great teammate, so humble, makes his teammates, makes those around him better. Just his presence out there, his presence every day at practice. He's everything you want in your leader, everything you want in your featured player. He just has it all. Our next award is Coach of the Year. It's a clean sweep for Newton Braves. Uh, I've known this young man. I call him a young man because he's younger than me. Uh, I've known him since he played at Lenaby Valley for the great Don Smolin. He was on some terrific teams. And uh, if you get a chance, guys, back there from Newton, if you go deep in the Muggs Media YouTube archives, you get some pictures of old number 12 running the ball for uh, Lenape Valley. He was a terrific player then. Uh, became an assistant coach to Don Smolin, then went to North Warren. Now, North Warren football, uh, as much as they did try, was kind of dead in the water when he got there. And he brought that winning attitude from Lenape Valley. And within a couple of years, he got them one game of the state title twice. From a program that was, like I said, maybe one or two wins a year was a great year. He got them to do that, and in his final year at North Warren, he won their first ever football division title. Uh, then he was, came over to Newton High School uh, three years ago. Jimmy Rabbit was the head coach, and he laid the foundation by starting this great senior group as sophomores. Now Coach Barzero with all his former teammates and Lenby Valley classmates, a terrific coaching staff. I say it all the time, Dave Bell, for my money, is the best offensive line coach in the area. He does a great job, and the rest of the guys are tremendous. But he brought Newton to that next level last year, 8-2, and two, knocking on the door. This year they kicked it in, going 12-0. and 0, And he did it with class and dignity. Uh, you know, he's not one of those crazy guys on the sidelines. But he gets the message through, and you can tell his kids love playing for him, and his assistants love coaching with him. So our Nielsen Automotive Muggs Media Football Coach of the Year for the Newton Braves, Matt Parzara. Great competition, you know, steel sharpens steel up here in Sussex County. So it's been uh, been a great run, you know. The, Competition throughout the year certainly prepared us for the states when we got in and were able to, you know, I wouldn't say maybe catch some people off guard, not knowing what Newton football was all about. But that competition throughout the year 
certainly prepared us for the Paquanics, the, the Westwoods, and then ultimately Lakeland winning that state final. It, it was outstanding. It's really awesome playing for him. Uh, he's a really, really easy guy to play for. Uh, you know, he, he gets along well with, uh, with his players, you know, all the coaches do. Uh, they do a, a great job preparing us. Everyone has a great deal of respect for him. Uh, you know, it's really, it's a, it's a lot of fun to play for him, and everyone loves doing it. All right, folks, what a year for Newton football. They swept all three awards. Just a lot of fun covering the Braves. When we come back, we're going to hand out more awards right after these messages here on Channel 10 at MugsMedia.com. For winter savings guaranteed to blow you away. Woohoo! Don't miss the Blizzard of Savings event at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall with super cool markdowns on every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, or Ram. Like new 2018 Jeep Compass Latitudes, just $169 a month. Or new 2017 Ram 1500 Bighorn Quad Cabs, just $229 a month. Plus the credit help you need and $1,500 over book value for any trade. Big savings are smooth sailing at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall, Route 23 in Sussex. Start something new event. Arthur J. Gallagher Risk Management Services. Specializing in public entity risk management, loss control, and self-insured alternatives. Put your trust in Arthur J. Gallagher locally by contacting George Moorville, who served Sussex County schools and municipalities for over 40 years. Arthur J. Gallagher and George Moorville support Sussex County athletes and charities. Arthur J. Gallagher Risk Management Services, business without barriers. For more information, call George Moorville at 973-383-3110. American Federal Mortgage knows shopping for a mortgage can be stressful. They have the lowest rates in the nation with their state approved lock and loan form. American Federal Mortgage has great customer service to answer your questions and concerns. They will get you into the home of your dreams. For more information, call 888-321-HOUSE or go to njmortgage.com. Pop, 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 money, money. Pop, 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 money, money, money. Use your phone to pay your friends. You can even pay the rent. Out to dinner, pay your buddy. Use your phone to pop your money. Lakeland Banks, pop money, money. Pop, 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 money, money, money. Pay the sitter, send the gift. It's real easy, you get my drift. You don't need checks, you don't need cash. Use pop money, it's so fast. Lakeland pop, Banks, pop, pop money. money. The easy way to pay people. Pop to it. Pop, pop, pop. Commitment to student success is what sets Sussex County Community College apart. Turn your passion into a career and learn from professors who are in the field and rich with experience. Imagine an education with endless possibilities and a campus full of life. Choose a degree or certificate that speaks to your inner self but doesn't have a lasting impact on your finances. Visit our open house on October 14th so that you can get started on a great education. Sussex County Community College. Start here, go anywhere. You know you love pizza and Italian food. Dominic's Pizzeria and Italian Restaurant has got you covered from one end of the county to the other with three great locations. Dominic's East Clinton Street in Newton with a brand new dining room. Then there's Dominic's on Munsonhurst Road in Franklin. And the third location is Chesco's, Route 94 South in Newton. All three locations offer simply great food. Dominic's in Newton, 3839330. Dominic's in Franklin, 209-1007 and Chesco's 3832840. Eastern Propane remains dedicated to our founding principles of personalized service, quality products, and exceptional technical expertise. We offer comprehensive single source solutions including the planning, design, installation, and ongoing maintenance of your propane gas systems and appliances. Our friendly delivery technicians provide you with safe and efficient deliveries ensuring uninterrupted propane service. Whether your needs are large or small, Eastern Propane offers more ways to serve you better. United Water is now Suez, safe, clean water for the communities they serve. Are you looking for something new out of your grocery shopping experience? Sussex Meat Packing is here to help. For over 50 years, we've been bringing Sussex County the finest in meats and poultry. We are your hometown butcher shop with a full service deli, fresh cut meats daily, and a kitchen for all your catering needs. We also carry imported groceries, a large line of frozen products, including seafood. All the food you see here was made in our very own kitchen. So come on by or check us out online to see what Sussex Meat Packing can do for you. Next up, it's the Boys Soccer Awards. This team, no stranger to this award. Uh, they've won it several times over the last few years. 
Uh, last year, they made a great run to the state finals, losing in group two and a, a win-aided goal against Burns, which I still can't believe went in. But uh, they lost a lot of great players from that team. But this team, it's, not a, it's a program. It's, you know, the names might change, but the guys that are waiting their turn come in and do the job. Uh, they started off a little bit slow this year, but they ended up finishing 14-7-2. and Hackistan was in their division, which was a tremendous team. They weren't able to get them, but they started putting together at the right time. And, you know, it's what, kind of what I call Newton time when it comes to boys' soccer. Once that state tournament, the seedings come out, Newton soccer puts it into a different gear than everyone else. Uh, they go out, uh, they win their first game against Elmwood Park, which they seem to play every year. And then they went on the road and, and beat a very good Jefferson team, which we're going to talk about in a second, able to beat them on the road 3-2. to two. And then uh, they really shocked not anyone up here because they know how good uh, Newton soccer is. They went down to Bergen County and just rolled Pascack Hills 6-0. Pascack Hills was the second seed. No one thought anyone was going to go down there and put six up against them. They did that, went on on probably the coldest day of the year and was played during the day. They went to Mawa. And uh, won't, even though I was frozen, Tyler and I were staying in the stands. We were, like, crawling down to the field to do the post game. But uh, one of the most exciting games, Kevin and I also scored a goal earlier. And then in overtime, Tommy Herman with a perfect clear. And Kevin and I also beat the defenders with that speed. He scores the game winner. They go to the state semifinals, lose to a very good Dover team. But this team is a lot of fun to watch. Uh, you had kids that have been part of the program for the last two or three years, varsity. Kids like Eddie Lynch, Richie Reska, Kevin Iosa, Tommy Herman, in gold, James McMahon did a nice job. Uh, Omar Ba, Liam Carrick back there with Josh Fowler. Uh, just, just a real well-rounded team with a good mix of young guys and older guys. And they're led by an outstanding coach in Brian Martin, who was a terrific player back in the day in Newton. He won section titles as a player. He was an assistant on their state championship team and has brought them to a new level where they're ranked as one of the top group two teams every year. His brother, Andy Weber, is a tremendous assistant coach, one of the best players that come out of Newton. So it's a family fair at Newton Soccer. They treat it as such, and they get the results. So our Nielsen Automotive, Muggs Media, Boys Soccer Team of the Year, the Newton Braves. I was proud of the guys. We, we started out slow. We were 4-4-1 four, four, at one point. Um, and we just, you know, the, the guys continued to believe. They continued to push. And it, I was so happy with the draw we got in states. I knew we could make a run out of seeing the other teams and knowing a little bit about them. And everything kind of just fell in place at the right time, which is kind of what you want as a coach. And they were able to get through that sectional final game. And it was just a great accomplishment and honor for them. All right. Next award is Player of the Year. And there are several kids at this table right there that could have been Player of the Year. A lot of good talent in the area this year. There's some kids over there at Sparta that had a great year. But this young man uh, was a big part of the renaissance of Jefferson boys soccer. He came in as a freshman, along with a, a great senior class that has, that's now gonna graduate, and made his mark, got, on, it got in varsity, three-year starting player, controlled the middle of the field. Uh, as we always say about a soccer player, it's not always the numbers, it's what you do to make the guys around you better. Uh, he had 12 goals and six, six assists, but maybe on another team, he would have been called upon to score 25 goals. But he did what he needed to do to make the team good. Uh, he played well as well. Uh, last year, they had a great player in Chris Naiman, set all sorts of scoring records. So this team had to come together as a team. They couldn't just look to Chris to score all the goals. And this young man led the way. Uh, he was terrific in the air, great on head balls. Uh, just a, a great leader, very well spoken after the games. And uh, when they write the soccer history about Jefferson boys, his name is in the first chapter. It was one of the tops that ever come out of the school. So our uh, Nielsen Automotive Muggs Media Boys Soccer Player of the Year from Jefferson High School, Liam Fitzgerald. Coach Gage described me early in the season as like the bodyguard of the team, so I felt like I was looking out for all my teammates, and I tried to be an inspiration for the team. I tried to like inspire everyone with my energy and attitude and work ethic, and I just like loved making plays under the lights, and it was just uh, making great plays fueling me and my teammates. So it was, it was special. He deserves it wholeheartedly by himself. He is uh, he is such a talent, uh, such a an every asset of the game. He is uh, he's there. He was our motivation. He's super competitive and 
and uh, yeah, he's he's uh, one of the main reasons where we ended up where we ended up. Our uh, next award is Coach of the Year, and uh, this coach he played in the county, played at Kittatinny on uh, one of their early successful teams, played for Coach Pete Demartini. Um, Jefferson Soccer was always in kind of a state of flux. Uh, they they went through a bunch of coaches, and in fact, Mr. Decolo had a fill in one year as a head coach. Uh, although he did coach him at all, so he knew what he was doing, just wasn't rolling out the balls. But they needed some stability for Jefferson boys soccer. And Travis Gage came in and gave him that stability. Uh, he, he just has come in and just changed the culture. Uh, last year, you know, producing a player like Chris Naiman. You know, this year, it was a complete team. They went 16-6-1, and, and they won the American Division with Mount Olive the first time in boys soccer history at Jefferson High School that they ever won a soccer championship, which is just incredible. And, uh, you know, I talked with Travis about this. You know, the athletics at Jefferson are so good. You know, it was just a kind of a shame that boys soccer wasn't there and didn't have a, their names up there on the banners. Well, this group of seniors, and co Coach will talk about it, uh, did a terrific job this year. They had 10 shutouts. Uh, they outscored their opponents 57 to 32. Uh, just a lot of fun to watch. Uh, what they did, they went to the to the quarterfinals of the Morris County Tournament. They beat uh, a brand name team from Morris County in Kinelon, beat Mountain Lakes, and then they fell to a very good Morris Knowles team. Uh, then in the state tournament, they ran into a red hot Newton team. No shame there, but there was a big week for them. They, uh, it was the last week of the regular season. They played Sparta at a night game, it was senior night, and they beat Sparta. And uh, that was the first time that Jefferson ever beat Sparta twice. And they had beaten Sparta earlier in the year under the lights in a wild atmosphere at Sparta High School. So that put them in position to have a chance to get their first ever title against Mount Olive. And if you follow boys soccer, Mount Olive has dominated the American division since the NJAC has started. Uh, when they lost to Sparta earlier in the year, I think it might have been their first division loss in many, many years. But they went out there against Mount Olive and got the victory, got a piece of that title the cap of season, which they set a school record for wins. Just incredible. Uh, we, we know about Liam, but uh, you know, Jack Bishop on defense, Kyle Barbosa, Zach Hirschman, Cole Candell, uh, and he has a great assistance of Brian Franks and uh, Scotty Reed. Uh, just a, a real fun team to watch. And what he's doing is what, like Brian Martin has done and other coaches, he's building a program. It's not going to be a one-year wonder. These guys from Jefferson are going to be around for a while. And it's all because of this, uh, this coach. So our Nielsen Automotive uh, Mugs Media Boys Soccer Coach of the Year from Jefferson, Travis Gage. We had a, a lot of firsts for Jefferson. Uh, it was our first league title um, ever, our first home, our first home state win. Um, yeah, uh, great season, uh, led by our 11 seniors and our, and our captain, Liam Fitzgerald. Um, yeah, these guys came together early, and it and it showed, and and uh, we couldn't we couldn't fly under the radar like we normally do. We uh, we started off pretty hot, and and it, and it sticks. So so yeah, we had a, we had a great run. All right, folks. When we come back, we'll give out the girls' soccer awards. Again, coming to you from Nielsen Ford, Route 23 in Sussex. Please stop by. Stop by any of the Nielsen Automotive uh, dealerships. Whatever brand car you want, they have. And come here to Nielsen Ford. I want to thank them for their great hospitality here tonight. We'll have more here on the Sports Beat right after this. For winter savings guaranteed to blow you away. Woohoo! Don't miss the Blizzard of Savings event at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall with super cool markdowns on every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, or Ram. Like new 2018 Jeep Compass Latitudes, just $169 a month. Or new 2017 Ram 1500 Bighorn Quad Cabs, just $229 a month. Plus the credit help you need and $1,500 over book value for any trade. Big savings are smooth sailing at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall, Route 23 in Sussex. Start something new event. Party time or work time. Tri-State Rentals has the right tools and supplies for your next job or party. Event and wedding tents in many sizes, plus all the accessories accessories you need to host that perfect party, including bounce houses, carnival games, and catering supplies. We also rent tools and equipment for any job, big or small, indoor or out. We rent, sell, and service Kubota tractors. Planning your next job or event just got easier. Visit Tri-State Rentals online at tristaterentals.com or visit our showroom, 105 Sparta Avenue, Newton. Hi, I'm Raul Gonzalez. I would like to welcome you to Sol Azteca Mexican Grill. Sol Azteca founder and CEO Raul Gonzalez was born and raised in Mexico City. 18 years ago, Raul had the opportunity to work for a multinational company in the United States. 
While he worked in the corporate world, he held to the dream to create his own restaurant. To bring a dining experience that combines his love for his Mexican heritage with his American home. This dream finally became reality with Sol Azteca, a restaurant with authentic, freshly made, delicious Mexican food and terrific American pub fare like hamburgers and pizza. The service is second to none, and the atmosphere allows you to experience anything from a family-friendly meal, a large party, or a romantic dinner for two. Let our family from Sol Azteca host your family, your friends, and relatives. Visit us at 280 Spring Street in Newton, New Jersey, and visit us at our website www.solazteca.com on our social media. Hope to see you soon. Hasta la vista, amigos. Sussex County Sheriff's Crime Stoppers is a nonprofit organization that encourages cooperation between the citizens of Sussex County and the Sussex County Sheriff's Department. If you have information relating to a crime or criminal activity in Sussex County, please contact us. If your tip leads to an arrest, you could receive a reward of up to $1,000. Contact us at 973-300-CRIME or through our website at www.sussexcountysheriff.com. Thank you. This message made possible by DNH Risk Solutions. For more information, go to risksolutions.com. Farmstead Golf and Country Club is the perfect place to host your event. Weddings, christenings, baby and bridal showers, and sports banquets. The staff at Farmstead will make your day a special one. The banquet facility overlooks their beautiful 27-hole golf course. Farmstead Golf and Country Club can also host your charity golf event. For more information on the Farmstead Banquet Facilities or to book your tea time, call 383-1666. Farmstead Golf and Country Club, located on Lawrence Road in Lafayette. Visit their website at farmsteadgolf.com. Welcome back to the Francis Sosa Francis Sosa Sunday Sports Meet. Though we're not coming to you from the Auto Mall, we're coming to you beautiful Nielsen Ford. Please stop by and check out their great selection. Up next, the Girls Soccer Awards. This team uh, had a good year last year, won the division, uh, won a state game, beating Jefferson last year. But then they, uh, I think, I believe it was Ramsey he ran into a Rampo, can't remember which, ended up losing in, in North 1 Group 2, graduated a super senior class. So everyone's thinking, well, maybe it's going to be a rebuilding year. But uh, in the town of Sparta, it's a soccer town as well as a football, it's a sports town. But uh, there's no rebuilding there. Uh, it, you reload. But... Things were going to be different this year. A, Jamie Barker decided to give up coaching. A new coach came in, Caitlin Bodie. Uh, they had to replace those seniors. Then Caitlin Mee, their leading returning scorer, gets hurt in the summertime. She can't play. So things are stacked against them. And then you look at the schedule they play. You open up with Roxbury, one of the best programs not only in Morris County but in the state. Uh, they went 16-2 and two this year, Roxbury, and uh, they always run into Northern Highlands in the states. So it's a great program. They played Pingree. But then they beat West Morris. West Morris is a great program out of Morris County. Uh, you know, they tied Mendham, who made the Morris County championship game. And after losing to Pope John, they beat them the second time around on the road in a winner-take-all game for the American division. We called that game. It was a great game. Uh, Emily Dilger with the big goal. Uh, Julia Flake with the shutout. Zoe Canizaro, Canizaro doing a great job on Jamie Walton. And she also did a great job later on in the States against one of the top players around in Kelly and Salako. So, you know, that defense was so great. Haley Mead back there going to Michigan to play lacrosse. But you put a D1 athlete anywhere, they're going to excel. Back there on defense, you know, and also you got Brianna Falco. We mentioned uh, Julia Flake, uh, Bailey Kellenberg, the C uh, Tory, Corey Sealand. Uh, just this great team, great effort all around. And as the ninth seed, they went through the state tournament. They were able to knock off a good Newton team who was a little shorthanded. And then they went on the road and knocked off top seed at Lakeland, who was the top seed, and they beat them in PKs. And then uh, was able to beat a very good kid at Tinney team to get to the final. Unfortunately, Westwood got a goal and, and ended the run. But it was a tremendous run by a team that many, probably outside their locker room, didn't think they were capable of achieving. And that's one of the great things about sports is belief in yourself. And this is what this team did. They finished 12-7-3. 7-1, won the American Division by a half game over Pope John. So our Nielsen Otto, Muggs Media, Girls Soccer Team of the Year, the Sparta Spartans.
It was my first year coaching, so I couldn't have really asked for a better season. The kids were awesome, and we kind of peaked at the right time and made a great run in the state tournament, so it was great. So our first player of the year for girls soccer uh, is when she graduates in June, there's going to be a lot of happy opposing coaches in three sports and a lot of sad coaches at Kitty City. Uh, she's a tremendous three-sport athlete, soccer, basketball, and softball. Uh, this year, she went out, scored 27 goals, had nine assists. She had four hat tricks uh, in their uh, big win earlier in the season against Newton. She scored all three goals in a 3 nothing win. And then when they beat them the, the second time out of three times, she had a th three goals in that game. Uh, she has 50 goals for her career. Um, she just did it all on the field. Um, last year, she played forward line, and then when coach needed her, she played goalie. And she said, and she had no problems with it. You know, a lot of superstars are going to be like, I'm not doing that. It's all about the team with her. Uh, I go to interview her after a game. She's like running to grab the flags and the water bottles, and I got to wait for her because she's doing the little things that usually say, hey, sophomores, go get that. She's just that type of kid. Uh, just a fun kid to cover, a tremendous overall athlete. And when it's all said and done, she's going to be considered one of the best that walked through the halls at Kittatinny High School, not only as an athlete, but as a person as well, a tremendous kid. So our Mugs Media, uh, Nielsen Automotive Girls Soccer Player of the Year from Kittatinny High School, Kelly and Salako. We just needed a full team out there, and I just wanted to do anything to help the team out. So whether it was in goal or out on the field, I liked being forward this year a lot better, but... I'm just happy to be part of a great team. She's one of the greatest kids you'll ever meet. Uh, just an incredible athlete. The fact that junior year we were able to put her back in goal when we needed her. This year be able to put her up top. and You can just tell when the game was on the line, it was a big game, and she came in there uh, in our second round of states, getting that header off the corner. I mean, she had to be three feet in the air. It was unbelievable. A terrific young lady, a tremendous superstar in three sports, uh, obviously soccer, indoor track, and outdoor track. Uh, she was one of our runners of the year last year for track. She's going to go up to Cornell to continue her track career. She won a state title in, uh, in track during the spring. Just an amazing athlete. Uh, she's been a big part of this program. She was a freshman when I believe Alyssa Cronin was a senior. And it was like the passing and the changing of the guard. Alyssa Cronin, one of the best players ever to come out of here. She's at Georgetown right now. Kaylee, freshman year, got some time. I believe a freshman year against Pope John, a big game at under the light. She had a big game. It's kind of like a coming out party. But since then, she progressively got better and better and became one of the top players, not just in, the, in this area, but all of North Jersey. Uh, she helped Newton go 17-6-1, uh, winning the Freedom Division. She had 29 goals, 12 assists. She had four hat tricks and the win over Kittatinny. Uh, they upset Kittatinny in the HWS. Uh, but you really can't call that an upset because they're such rivals. But uh, she scored three goals in that game uh, against Kittatinny. And then, uh, you know, you, the great ones under the rest come through. She unfortunately hurt her knee towards the end of the year. She missed the county finals. She missed the state game against Sparta. But against Newton, I think she was still a little banged up. And uh, she was able to uh, come through against High Point, excuse me, come th against High Point. She came through and scored the game-winning goal when the Freedom Division was on the line. And they were able to win that division. Uh, she was a great role model. This, is, this Newton team is up and coming. They got a bunch of sophomores that played well, that helped them get to that county final. But they looked to this young lady for leadership. And uh, you know, it broke my heart when I woke, came up to that HWS game and I saw her on the sidelines. I said, oh, boy, that just stinks. And, and her teammates went out there and brought North 100 into the brink, losing in penalty kicks. But uh, just a class act. As we said, she's going Ivy League. Uh, just a tremendous player. We wish her the best. Hopefully that knee gets better for track season. Our uh, Muggs Media, Nielsen Auto, Girls Soccer Player of the Year from Newton, Kaylee Firth. It was a great season. As I think I told you once, it was a rough year coming in because we didn't have a goalie. Our goalie was injured. We didn't have our center of the field at all. They all graduated, so we were all really nervous. But we ended up coming out strong, having some great chemistry. And even though I didn't play the last games, they played great and played together. Our next award is uh, Coach of Year for Girls Soccer. And again, not lip service. We have three coaches in that room that could have won it as well. Jake Mull, what he did with the sophomores and without Kaylee was amazing. Caitlin Bodie stepping in and, and in her first year and, and winning a, a division title and getting a team of kids that she kind of just kind of met to a section final, did a great job. Uh, but this coach, uh, again, uh, when we talked about you know programs that kind of were floundering, 
until this uh, coach came in, uh, Kittatinny girls soccer was lucky to win maybe two or three games a year. Um, it wasn't because of lack of effort, whatever, just wasn't there. The pieces weren't put together yet for success. Well, this coach came in, he played at High Point, he was a very good player at High Point, and slowly but surely built the program up. And they got the first ever soccer championship, I want to say 2010, around there, with uh, Megan Hayes and that group, and who she went on to play at Division One Seton Hall. So it just slowly built up, and then soccer got exciting for the Kittatinny Sending Districts, and the youth programs got into it, and when they knew when they got to coach Matt Micah at the high school level, they were going to win games. This year, 17-3, and 8-0 went back. They won back-to-back -back Colonial Division titles, and he, he laid the foundation last year. We talk about laying foundations. You know, you can see what the team does one year, th what they can do the next if they, if they continue to work. And that's what this team did last year, uh, just with a lot of young kids running around. Uh, obviously, when you start with Kelly and Salako, that's a great start. But, you know, some of the kids defensively, Ava Brook, Sarah Calderon, Liz Hirsch, and Gold, Natalie Matar. And then you have playmakers, kids that could score as well, but were more than happy to give up the ball in Olivia Redding and Ali Benzinger. Uh, and then you have McKenna Conklin, uh, Mackenzie Utter with the exciting goal against High Point to win that game. Kaylee Van Wingerden, Lexi Sarney. Uh, just a, a, a real good, solid group. And as we, we were saying before, you can tell when kids love playing for a coach. These girls love playing for this guy. And he has turned the whole culture around to Kittatinny girls soccer. So our Mugs Media and Nielsen Auto girls soccer coach of the year, McKittatinny, Matt Micah. It was a wonderful season for us. Uh, you know, Coach of the Year is really nice, but it's really the, the girls we had this year just responded. I feel like I didn't do anything much different than we've done in the past. We just always seem to find a way to win. We had some, some great competition this year. I felt like everybody was gunning for us, whether it's Lenape or Jefferson knocked us off. You know, and Newton and, uh, and Sparta played some great teams. Uh, generally, we came out on top, and you know, credit to the girls. Uh, obviously, Kelly had a lot of goals for us, helping us out, but an Italian Matar in goal, and uh, Ava Brook back on defense uh, allowed us to keep Kelly up top, and that was real, just a great season all around. All right, when we come back, we'll hand out more awards and Muggs Media Full Awards Banquet here at Nielsen Ford right after this. For winter savings guaranteed to blow you away, woohoo! Don't miss the Blizzard of Savings event at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall with super cool markdowns on every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, or Ram. Like new 2018 Jeep Compass Latitudes, just $169 a month. Or new 2017 Ram 1500 Bighorn Quad Cabs, just $229 a month. Plus the credit help you need and $1,500 over book value for any trade. Big savings are smooth sailing at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall, Route 23 in Sussex. Start something new event. Arthur J. Gallagher Risk Management Services. Specializing in public entity risk management, loss control, and self-insured alternatives. Put your trust in Arthur J. Gallagher locally by contacting George Moorville, who served Sussex County schools and municipalities for over 40 years. Arthur J. Gallagher and George Moorville support Sussex County athletes and charities. Arthur J. Gallagher Risk Management Services, business without barriers. For more information, call George Moorville at 973-383-3110. American Federal Mortgage knows shopping for a mortgage can be stressful. They have the lowest rates in the nation with their state approved lock and loan form. American Federal Mortgage has great customer service to answer your questions and concerns. They will get you into the home of your dreams. For more information, call 888-321-HOUSE or go to njmortgage.com. Hi, I'm Raul Gonzalez. I would like to welcome you to Sol Azteca Mexican Grill. The atmosphere at Sol Azteca is what separates itself from other Mexican restaurants. Whether it is the playground area for kids and families, the party room to accommodate large groups, or just a table for two. The menu has something for everyone, from authentic Mexican dishes to burgers and fries. Plenty of parking is available, and at Sol Azteca we treat our customers like our own family. Let our family from Sol Azteca host your family, your friends, and relatives. Visit us at 280 Spring Street in Newton, New Jersey, and visit us at our website, www.solazteca.com, on our social media. Hope to see you soon. Hasta la vista, amigos. Pop, 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 money, money. Pop, 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 money, money, money. Use your phone to pay your friends. You can even pay the rent. Out to dinner, pay your buddy. Use your phone to pop your money. Lakeland Banks pop money, money. Pop, pop, pop money, money, money. Pay the 
listen, send a gift. It's real easy. You get my drift. You don't need checks. You don't need cash. Use Pop Money. It's so fast. Lakeland Bank's Pop Money. The easy way to pay people. Pop to it. Commitment to student success is what sets Sussex County Community College apart. Turn your passion into a career and learn from professors who are in the field and rich with experience. Imagine an education with endless possibilities and a campus full of life. Choose a degree or certificate that speaks to your inner self but doesn't have a lasting impact on your finances. Visit our open house on October 14th so that you can get started on a great education. Sussex County Community College. Start here, go anywhere. You know you love pizza and Italian food. Dominic's Pizzeria and Italian Restaurant has got you covered from one end of the county to the other with three great locations. Dominic's East Clinton Street in Newton with a brand new dining room. Then there's Dominic's on Munsonhurst Road in Franklin. And the third location is Chesco's, Route 94 South in Newton. All three locations offer simply great food. Dominic's in Newton, 3839330. Dominic's in Franklin, 209-1007 and Chesco's 3832840. Eastern Propane remains dedicated to our founding principles of personalized service, quality products, and exceptional technical expertise. We offer comprehensive single source solutions including the planning, design, installation, and ongoing maintenance of your propane gas systems and appliances. Our friendly delivery technicians provide you with safe and efficient deliveries ensuring uninterrupted propane service. Whether your needs are large or small, Eastern Propane offers more ways to serve you better. United Water is now Suez, safe, clean water for the communities they serve. Welcome back to the Franklin Sessas Oil Mall, Franklin Sessas Hyundai Sports Beat. As you can see, we're at the lovely Nielsen Ford. Great cars, great selection, great sales uh, staff here. Very courteous, clean, it's beautiful. Come by and check it out if you haven't. Uh, you'll be very happy. If you love Ford products, this is the place to go, Nielsen Ford. Well, up next was our Cross Country Awards. Our next award is Cross Country, and uh, our girls cross country runner, Jessica Jr., so uh, she came on like gangbusters this year. Uh, she came in fourth at the Roxbury Invitational, fifth at the Garrett Mountain Invitational, fourth at the Shore Coaches uh, and the Varsity E-Race uh, at the NJAC Large School. She really picked it up, uh, had a, per, a season best 1936 in that, came in ninth uh, at the Morris County Race, which is a, a, a unbelievable race when you have a runner if you follow cross country, Abby Lovey's from Randolph is just crazy. She's just an amazing runner. And uh, she came in 19th at, in that race, came in third in North One Group Two, and 12th in the Group Two race. And importantly, in their dual meets, she beat uh, the runners from Sparta. Pope John had Anna Meyer, who was a terrific runner, as well as uh, beating Morris Hills. Um, just setting a precedent now for herself for next year. She put a lot of hard work in here. She was. Uh, you know, by far the, the top female runner in the, in the area, and uh, she's got a great future ahead of her, so we'll be looking forward to see you run next year and also on track. So our Girls Cross Country Runner of the Year for Muggs Media and Nielsen Automotive, Sarah DeVries of Jefferson High School. It was a very hard year at first to get myself like back up to where I was last year, but I think I had a really good season and I helped everyone on the team like push themselves and like motivate the team and um, yeah. Cross Country Runner of the Year, uh, he hails from a program that is second to none when it comes to cross country, both boys and girls in this area. Uh, their head coach, Brian Corcoran, molds runners into champions, not only in cross country and track, but also in life. Uh, Brian's not here tonight, but he does a great job. Uh, this young man was by far the top runner in our area at the Hunter Warren Sussex Tournament, which is a great tournament. He placed third to help the team place second. At the New Jersey Catholic Track Conference Championships, he was a, the champion. He won that race. And if you follow cross country, he's in some pretty good company. It was the first time a Pope John runner had done it since 2003, 
and that guy was Justin Scheid, who was in the Sussex County Sports Hall of Fame. He just got put in a couple of years ago. That's tremendous company when you can put your name with a kid like Justin Scheid. But there's so many great names in Pope John cross country history. Uh, he helped them, the Pope John Lions win the American Division as they went 4 0. He placed fifth in the non public A race, 39th at the Meet of Champions. Um, his fastest time of the year was in, the, in a 5K was at 15.47, which was fourth in the state. Uh, he comes from a very athletic family. Everyone that follows any sports of Pope John knows the last name, and he has carried on the tradition very well and uh, made his family and his school very proud. So our cross-country runner of the year from Pope John High School for Nielsen Auto and Muggs Media, Jimmy Zignorski. Pretty good effort by the team as a whole. Um, all of our hard work in the summer, we showed up every day in the summer and uh, showed up to practice every day and putting in the work, so good results come from the good work. All righty, cross country in our area, great every year. And when we come back, we'll have more awards here on the Sports Beat right after these messages. For winter savings guaranteed to blow you away. Woohoo! Don't miss the Blizzard of Savings event at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall with super cool markdowns on every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, or Ram. Like new 2018 Jeep Compass Latitudes, just $169 a month. Or new 2017 Ram 1500 Bighorn Quad Cabs, just $229 a month. Plus the credit help you need and $1,500 over book value for any trade. Big savings are smooth sailing at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall, Route 23 in Sussex. Start something new event. Arthur J. Gallagher Risk Management Services. Specializing in public entity risk management, loss control, and self-insured alternatives. Put your trust in Arthur J. Gallagher locally by contacting George Moorville, who served Sussex County schools and municipalities for over 40 years. Arthur J. Gallagher and George Moorville support Sussex County athletes and charities. Arthur J. Gallagher Risk Management Services, business without barriers. For more information, call George Moorville at 973-383-3110. American Federal Mortgage knows shopping for a mortgage can be stressful. They have the lowest rates in the nation with their state approved lock and loan form. American Federal Mortgage has great customer service to answer your questions and concerns. They will get you into the home of your dreams. For more information call 888-321-HOUSE or go to njmortgage.com. Pop, 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 money, money. Money, money. Use your phone to pay your friends. You can even pay the rent. Out to dinner, pay your buddy. Use your phone to pop your money. Lakeland Banks pop money, money. Pop, pop, pop money, money, money. Pay the sitter, send a gift. It's real easy. You get my drift. You don't need checks. You don't need cash. Use pop money. It's so fast. Lakeland Banks pop money. The easy way to pay people. Pop to it. Pop, pop, pop. Commitment to student success is what sets Sussex County Community College apart. Turn your passion into a career and learn from professors who are in the field and rich with experience. Imagine an education with endless possibilities and a campus full of life. Choose a degree or certificate that speaks to your inner self but doesn't have a lasting impact on your finances. Visit our open house on October 14th so that you can get started on a great education. Sussex County Community College. Start here, go anywhere. You know you love pizza and Italian food. Dominic's Pizzeria and Italian Restaurant has got you covered from one end of the county to the other with three great locations. Dominic's East Clinton Street in Newton with a brand new dining room. Then there's Dominic's on Munsonhurst Road in Franklin. And the third location is Chesco's, Route 94 South in Newton. All three locations offer simply great food. Dominic's in Newton, 3839330. Dominic's in Franklin, 209-1007 and Chesco's 3832840. Eastern Propane remains dedicated to our founding principles of personalized service, quality products, and exceptional technical expertise. We offer comprehensive single source solutions including the planning, design, installation, and ongoing maintenance of your propane gas systems and appliances. Our friendly delivery technicians provide you with safe and efficient deliveries ensuring uninterrupted propane service. Whether your needs are large or small, Eastern Propane offers more ways to serve you better. United Water is now Suez, safe, clean water for the communities they serve.
Welcome back to the Franklin Sessions Auto Mall, Franklin Sessions Sunday Sports Beat, as we come to you from Nielsen Ford. Again, a big thanks to Bill and Lynn Snoffer and Eric Nielsen for letting us host the banquet here. The people love this venue. It's a terrific place. Please come by and check out everything here. Our next award, the Girls Tennis Player of the Year Award. Our next award is the Girls Tennis Player of the Year. And a uh, great story here. This young lady really didn't pick up a racket until she was about 12 or 13. And not only does she pick up a racket, she gets a, start, a spot on the varsity team at Sussex Tech as a freshman at third singles, I believe. And then she took to the sport like a fish to water. Just got better and better with her athleticism and then started to learn the game and became a first singles player for Sussex Tech for the last three years. She helped put Sussex Tech girls tennis and tennis in general at, at the school on the map. They won two championships, never done at the school in 2014, 2015. She's the co-captain the last two years. Uh, she's just been tremendous. Her career record is 49 and six. For her career this year, she went 10 and two. Um, her only local loss was with a very good player from Lenry Valley and, uh, and also against Mawa, a very good program. But continued excellence, all conference, all four years uh, at the school, all academic. So she does it in the classroom and on the court. Uh, Tremendous leader, uh, it, just, it just leads by example and, and what she does in the classroom and on the tennis court. She also does track and field. So uh, for someone that just picked up the sport to be a player of the year in a very competitive area for girls tennis, when you got Sparta and you got Pope John and, and schools like that, it's pretty darn impressive. So our Nielsen Auto Muggs Media Girls Tennis Player of the Year from Sussex Tech, Maria Steele. I thought we had a really good season, especially this year, because we lost a few cap uh, seniors last year. But we worked really hard and we just improved since, especially since four years ago. So I thought it was really good. Then it was time to give out the Volleyball Player of the Year for Girls Volleyball. I met this young lady where she's playing softball. One of the best softball players around and I uh, wouldn't be surprised if she's back here back in the spring for what she does in softball. But she also plays volleyball and plays with the same passion as she does with softball. Her uh, numbers this year, 28 aces, 185 kills, 189 digs, uh, three assists, three blocks. And she was part of the Sparta team with their head coach, Derek Hall, who's here, who was an outstanding athlete his days back at Jefferson. Uh, I believe he was a player of the year for us when he was a senior at Jefferson in Hoops. So he knows what it's all about to be here. But a great year for Sparta of girls volleyball. They went 18 and 10. NJ.com had them ranked ninth in Group Two in their final rankings. Uh, this team was able to beat Vernon in the first round of states. They beat Tenafly, lost to a good Pascal Hills team. But uh, you know, in interviewing her before, like in softball, gives credit to everyone around her. Talia Smith and Erin Scott were tremendous players around her to help her have the kind of season she did. And uh, you know, this this award has been dominated for so long by some players from Vernon and Jefferson. And, uh, you know, uh, Julian Merowinski from Jefferson, I think, won it four years in a row. So, uh, you know, Sparta really stepping it up, has a good volleyball tradition. They took that next step this year. They were the best team around, and a big reason is because of this player. So our Nielsen Otto, Muggs Media Girls Volleyball Player of the Year from Sparta High School, Paige Smith. We had a really good season this year. We had to rebuild after we lost a lot of girls, but we had a lot of seniors, so we had good leadership. And we went pretty far in the States. We went to the third round with one upset, and it was just a lot of fun. I had a great group of girls. Next up was the Field Hockey Awards. Great year for Walk Hill Valley. And uh, like football with Newton, this uh, school clean sweep, getting all three awards. Uh, they are the team of the year. They went 21-3. and three. They went 6-0 in the Colonial Division and uh, made it and won their first section title since 2006. Uh, this team is a lot of fun to watch, and again, I go back to the old word of laying that foundation to watch a team grow. I watched this group, Coach Irene Trinati said to me four years ago, check out these my little freshmen, she called them, my little freshmen this year, they're going to be good. I said, oh, good, well, and Walker Valley has a great uh, field hockey tradition because of Irene Trinati. And this team built and built and built and just got better and better. And uh, as we said, they went up to get to the section final, uh, a packed house at Walk Hill Valley that day. And uh, they were playing Booten and uh, a couple of yellow cars for silly things, nothing, anything malicious. 
But the depth of the team has really shown when three of their best players were on the bench and seven players were going against ten from Booten and kept them out of the goal and then eventually scored. It was an amazing team effort at how all these young ladies really got together. Uh, they had the core seniors, Morgan Carr, Fiona Blake, and Caitlin Mazeski. And you throw in Tara Brody, goalie Christina Yaki, Emily Mazeski, she's the future of the program. Kids like Biz Lundquist and Bree Miller, Frankie Gisulo all stepped it up during that time against Booten. Now, in this day and age where everyone's got turf, Wallkill doesn't. And the field is kept immaculate by our man, Mike Lipskin. We all, we all know him. And to play, play field hockey on turf as opposed to grass is such a big difference. But these young ladies, even takes a little bounce, they knew how to play on that field, and they played extremely well. Uh, they ended up losing to Booten in the uh, Group 1 um, state semifinals. But just a tremendous run, and it's, you know, the old cliche comes through. If you put the time and work in as a group, and it might not happen that first year, but by the time you're seniors and you stick together and believe, it can happen. And that's what this team did this year. So our Muggs Media, Nielsen Auto, Field Hockey Team of the Year, the Walkill Valley Rangers. It's awesome. I mean, everybody worked so hard to get it. And um, to do it with our great group of seven senior girls, it was really nice. Um, Unfortunately, Trinani can't be here tonight because she's um, very sick with the flu. But, you know, if she's here in our hearts, and um, she'd be very excited for all of us. So. Our uh, next award is Player of the Year for Field Hockey. Hails from Wallkill Valley. Again, part of that core three. But uh, just to, to watch her development over the years as a player, uh, she's not just a scorer. She's an overall player. Uh, sometimes in field hockey and then also in ice hockey, you have people that hang around the crease and they can get some cheap goals. None of the goals this young lady scored were cheap, folks. If you got to see her play, she was terrific 1v1. Uh, the goals that she scored, the first two goals against Booten were just amazing to watch or free hits. I think Fiona Blake said the, sent the first one up, and then she, the, the goalie didn't have a chance. She actually fell, and then she shot the ball all again on natural grass. If she was on turf, her numbers would be probably maybe double what she has now. Uh, this year she had 46 goals and 14 assists, school record for that. And, and again, we talked about in soccer, she was the ultimate team player. She'd come back on defense. She would pass the ball to Fiona or Tara and it just make things go. And uh, just a dynamic force out there. She was always moving forward, you know, always pressing. And other defenses had to worry about her because if they weren't looking, she was gone for a goal. Uh, Walker Valley has a great tradition, as we mentioned. I go all the way back to some of the old time players that I saw play, kids like Corey Weingard and Nicole Yulikowski, Carly Engesser, Heather Radcliffe, uh, Brittany Harlos, uh, Missy Esser, and most recently, you know, uh, you know, also Stacy Gato, and then most recently, um, Amanda Nan, who had that record in 2006. When it's all said and done, as we talked about Kelly and Salako, when it's all said and done, this young lady is part of that great tradition of field hockey and was a great ambassador of sport. Again, another classy athlete, like all the kids that have won awards tonight, always great to talk to. So our Muggs Media, Neil Sonoto, Field Hockey Player of the Year from Wilkill, Morgan Carr. The first two games, it was really crazy because we, we had to come from them scoring first and then we had a they already had one up on us, so that was um, tough to come across because we that didn't happen that much during the season to begin with. So when we overcame that, that was pretty um, pretty good for us. And then in, when we won against Booten, um, to have all the players that other than Caitlin Fiona and I really put in all the hard work and not let them score a goal while we were out was really good teamwork. Our uh, next award is Field Hockey Coach of the Year. As, as Morgan said, Irene Trinati from Wallkill can't make it, but. Uh, I've known Irene since 1988 when I first got out of college and I started covering sports up here. And she already has, was established as a top field hockey coach. In 88, they went to the state finals. And she took me under her wing. I didn't know anything about field hockey. I was like, what, what's, what is this? It's just whistles. You know, you run around, there's people chasing a ball, they blow the whistle, people stop, and they start again. Well, Irene, along with people like Bev Kerr and Lisa Bechtel and Steph Gasadello at Vernon, and Wendy Morris when she was at Pope John. They taught me the game, and I became a very big fan of it. The coordination for it, the hand-eye is unbelievable, and I really became to appreciate it, and it's a lot because of Irene Trinati. This year was a special year for her. 
She got her 400th career win, joining Lisa Bechtel from Newton as the only coaches up here to have 400 career wins. She uh, was able to get her uh, another uh, league title. She won two SEIL titles, her fourth section title. And again, Irene at the games never wants to go on TV. She goes, put on another kid. Okay. So I don't think Irene, I don't think if we go back, we have any tape of Irene on, on, on the record. But she would talk to me all the time, you know, before the games and after the games. And just a, as nice as a lady as you're ever going to meet, folks, just a class act. And one of the things she always says to me, I couldn't have done it without my assistant coach. John Steiger is here tonight. John was an outstanding football player in Sparta back in the day. And he has uh, become as big as part of the Walk Hill Valley uh, field hockey program as Irene. Uh, you've seen him around. He also at track meets. He's a guy who was sitting there at the table punching in all the results. And uh, he's a quiet force on the side with Irene, but he's a tremendous coach with Irene. And both of them together, they turned in one of their most memorable seasons that uh, Wilk Hill Valley has. So uh, our Mugs Media, uh, Nielsen Otto, coach here for field hockey is Irene Chernati. But if John Starger, if you can come up and accept, we'd appreciate it. They're like the dynamic duo, like you said. Um, she doesn't make decisions without asking him first, and he doesn't make decisions without asking her first. And um, she's really the greatest coach that I've ever had. So, All righty, what a great event here tonight. Again, we thank Nielsen Ford for hosting it. Great food from Sussex Meatpacking. Everybody had a lot of fun. And a big shout-out to the Newton contingent who helped us break down the tables afterwards. They didn't have to, but they're just great guys. The soccer and the girls' soccer player of the year, Kaylee Firth, and the football guys all helping us break down. Big shout-out to them for helping us out. We'll be back with more of the Sports Beat right after these messages. For winter savings guaranteed to blow you away. Woohoo! Don't miss the Blizzard of Savings event at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall with super cool markdowns on every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, or Ram. Like new 2018 Jeep Compass Latitudes, just $169 a month. Or new 2017 Ram 1500 Bighorn Quad Cabs, just $229 a month. Plus the credit help you need and $1,500 over book value for any trade. Big savings are smooth sailing at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall, Route 23 in Sussex. Start something new event. Arthur J. Gallagher Risk Management Services. Specializing in public entity risk management, loss control, and self-insured alternatives. Put your trust in Arthur J. Gallagher locally by contacting George Morville, who served Sussex County schools and municipalities for over 40 years. Arthur J. Gallagher and George Morville support Sussex County athletes and charities. Arthur J. Gallagher Risk Management Services, business without barriers. For more information, call George Morville at 973-383-3110. American Federal Mortgage knows shopping for a mortgage can be stressful. They have the lowest rates in the nation with their state-approved lock and loan form. American Federal Mortgage has great customer service to answer your questions and concerns. They will get you into the home of your dreams. For more information, call 888-321-HOUSE or go to njmortgage.com. Money, money, pop, 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 money, money, money. Use your phone to pay your friends. You can even pay the rent. Out to dinner, pay your buddy. Use your phone to pop your money. Lakeland Banks, pop money, money. Pop, 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 money, money, money. Pay the sitter, send the gift. It's real easy, you get my drift. You don't need checks, you don't need cash. Use pop money, it's so fast. Lakeland pop, Banks, pop, pop money. money. The easy way to pay people. Pop to it. Pop, pop, pop. Commitment to student success is what sets Sussex County Community College apart. Turn your passion into a career and learn from professors who are in the field and rich with experience. Imagine an education with endless possibilities and a campus full of life. Choose a degree or certificate that speaks to your inner self but doesn't have a lasting impact on your finances. Visit our open house on October 14th so that you can get started on a great education. Sussex County Community College. Start here, go anywhere. You know you love pizza and Italian food. Dominic's Pizzeria and Italian Restaurant has got you covered from one end of the county to the other with three great locations. Dominic's East Clinton Street in Newton with a brand new dining room. Then there's Dominic's on Munsonhurst Road in Franklin. And the third location is Chesco's, Route 94 South in Newton. All three locations offer simply great food. Dominic's in Newton, 3839330. Dominic's in Franklin, 209-1007 and Chesco's 3832840 
Eastern Propane remains dedicated to our founding principles of personalized service, quality products, and exceptional technical expertise. We offer comprehensive, single-source solutions including the planning, design, installation, and ongoing maintenance of your propane gas systems and appliances. Our friendly delivery technicians provide you with safe and efficient deliveries ensuring uninterrupted propane service. Whether your needs are large or small, Eastern Propane offers more ways to serve you better. United Water is now Suez, safe, clean water for the communities they serve. Welcome back to the Franklin Sussex Automobile, Franklin Sussex Sunday Sports Beat. I'm your host, Dan Cleary, and uh, we'll be giving out awards. But before we do that, I want to give a big thank you to John DiColo, the outgoing athletic director at Jefferson High School. John's a class act, a good man. And uh, he'll be definitely be missed. He's retiring at the 40 years in education. I've known John for the last 20 when he's athletic director at uh, Jefferson High School. He's a great guy, one of the best ADs around. John, we're going to miss you at Muggs Media. We wish you the best, best of luck. Up next is our Orthopedic Institute of New Jersey Live Well Tip of the Week. Hi, I'm Rehan Shamim. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at the Orthopedic Institute of New Jersey. I work with athletes of all ages, from children and adolescents through high school and college and even to the weekend warrior population. These are people who like to stay active, they like to engage in sports, they like to do exercise. They might like the uh, aspect of staying in good shape, they might like the team and camaraderie aspect of it. My name is Lara Carlson. Uh, we are at Central Park of Morris and there's kickball going on tonight. So uh, I work for the organization Jersey Club Sports and we run a league. It's almost every night a week there's a different league going on and tonight it's kickball and sand volleyball. So some people do come and warm up and they take it seriously but then there are others who don't and we see some really serious injuries so you know it would be nice to see more people come and warm up. Some people show up literally at 6 30 when the game starts and they leave as soon as it ends. There's no warm up or cool down and you know I'm an, I'm an athlete myself. I played sports in college and I know the importance of warming up and cooling down and Sometimes people get hurt because of it. Because they're not dedicating their full time to keeping their muscles strengthened and stretched and appropriately worked out, when they do put in 100% effort on, on, the, on those weekend sporting activities, it might be a sudden change from what their muscles are normally used to. If you're a weekend warrior, you like to go out on the weekends, softball, kickball, volleyball, whatever it may be, you just have to keep in mind what are the specific demands of your sport and what can you do to prevent injuries in those sports. You'd be surprised because you think like, okay, this is fun, it's co-ed sports, but um, someone tore their Achilles on the first day of one of the opening kickball seasons. He was out for the rest of the season. Um, I've seen like really serious injuries. People sand volleyball, um, spraining their ankles, just coming down, you know, people have torn their ACLs. For many athletes, athletic trainers are very important in helping us take care of the athletes in terms of both injury prevention and treatment. For high school athletes, most high schools do have athletic training staff and the athletes will have access to them as they need on a, on a daily basis. As you get into the higher levels of sport, including college and professional, that access becomes even more, uh, even more intense. Unfortunately for the weekend warriors, they don't necessarily have this kind of access. When they get injured, they don't know where to go. They don't have a point person that they can talk to about, about how serious is this kind of thing and how, what do I need to do? Who do I need to see? What further treatment should I be getting? And that's why we're here. Uh, our job is to make sure that anybody who comes in will get that kind of evaluation and has that access. I think a partnership with the Orthopedic Institute would be phenomenal for this organization. Um, Jersey Club Sports is huge and there are so many different members and again there are some people who have never played sports in their entire life and they're doing this purely because it's social and it's fun and but I think everyone from you know the athlete to the non-athlete need they need to know properly you know how, how to warm up or what what they should do when they have an injury and likewise for the staff. As sports medicine physicians, we love sports and we love athletes. We, we love being part of a team and we take that team approach towards taking care of our athletes. That involves treatment with, with us, our physician's assistants, our physical therapists, our athletic trainers. All of us work together to make sure our athletes stay out on the field. We like to keep our athletes healthy and a good injury prevention program can do that. If things don't go as planned and something happens, we do our best to make them get back to the sports that they love as quickly as possible. All right, again, we thank the Orthopedic Institute of New Jersey 
for sponsoring everything here at Muggs Media. Again, a great night here at Nielsen Ford. Again, if you have not come in, it's switched hands. It used to be Majorino. It's now Nielsen. Check it out. If you love Ford products, this is the place to go. A very welcoming sales staff. They, you walk in, they come in, they come right up to you. They're very helpful. Great selection of, uh, of new used cars. They'll get you a great deal here at Nielsen Ford. Also, please check out uh, the Auto Mall and the Hyundai dealership. Check them out on Facebook for all upcoming events. There's always something going on at one of these Nielsen dealerships. And again, a big thank you to Eric Nielsen and Bill Snoffer for helping sponsoring all these, all these events. They believe in the positive stories we do here at Muggs Media, and we really appreciate it. So that'll wrap it up here from Nielsen Ford. Winter season underway. We'll get back with new programming with all the highlights of wrestling, boys basketball, girls basketball, ice hockey after the new year. I hope everyone has a healthy and happy Merry Christmas and safe new year. And we'll see you again, folks, in 2018. I'm your host, Dan Cleary. Good night, everyone.